In this video, I'm going to show you how you can run a two back offense as if it was a standard passing offense and actually pass at a pretty high level. And this is a concept and this is something that I wanted to, I've been wanting to talk about for a long time because a lot of people, um, they, they basically say, you know, bunch is meta, tights meta. And then if you run like off meta, there's a lot of like, I think just bad um, off meta offenses and it really is because they don't utilize a couple of core foundational principles that will work in any any Madden that you play and so I'm in the Jets playbook I'm going to show you some stuff out of two back formations that are generally speaking off meta and I'm going to explain why um, these these concepts are going to still apply in, in really any Madden so to do that real quick first I just want to come out in kind of a meta formation uh, which is gun tight and I want to talk about a couple of route combat Combinations. So the first route combination I want to talk about is this PA cross play where we post the tight end and we streak the left side receiver. This is one of the best concepts in the game. This was pretty much, if you go back and watch, um, I think, I can't remember what tournament it was. I want to say it was the ultimate wild card, um, but I truly, I just can't remember what tournament it was exactly. But Astro ran this literally almost every single play against Henry and pretty much almost never got stopped. Um, so this is a really good meta route combination. Another concept uh, that is pretty uh, pretty meta is this seams idea. Just a simple like, you know, I'm going to do a flood and we're going to flood that left side. It's going to look something like this, you know, and we're going to basically try to, you know, attack the defense that way. Um, another, another one that's pretty popular out of tight is just straight up seams. So we're gonna basically do, you know, something like this. Maybe we, you know, motion this guy out, you know, just do something simple. Uh, but this is a pretty standard way that people will attack is some kind of seams concept. And then the other way that people like to attack out of formations like this would be like utilizing the running back on a seam wheel and then also having a slant post variation. So typically looking something like this. This is pretty meta as well. So those are just kind of to get your mind going on a couple of meta route combinations. Now I wanna go down to a pro set um, or a, a two back set where we can kind of explain how you can cross apply this. So um, I form, we have slot close, we have I close or strong close. Now just because, um, I, I'll just use I form close for example. So a couple good plays here that we have. We have the stretch um, run play, we also have the halfback ISO. I'd recommend putting both of those in your audibles so that if the defense ever gives you a good look to run the ball, you can check down into your run game. And then from there, um, we really want to try to look for passing ideas. So the three big routes that you're always trying to find and you're always wanting to build offenses around really year over year are the crossing route or, or post route, the quarter route, or the wheel route. One of those three main routes is kind of what you're looking for. So this play PA boot flow has a post route and a corner route. So that's going to be a good play. PA deep cross has a deep crosser. Um, again, I'm just literally, I've never ran this. I don't think I've ever ran this formation before. So, and then we're going to base out of the play PA Titan leak. Cause that also has, that has um, a deep post route as a deep corner. Um, and a crosser. So a couple different things that we get uh, with all that. I form slot close, just real quick. Um, we can look at some things. PA spot looks like a really good play. Um, PA sprint halfback flat looks like a good play. Same kind of concept where we could put the stretch in there and then we can put, you know, jet sweep or blast, really whatever we want. Um, in, in these plays here. But these are just a couple just to get us going. And like I said, I want to base out of the play PA tight end leak, okay? So now that we're on the field and we can kind of get an idea of the spacing and some of that stuff, um, this can kind of help significantly because you can kind of start to see how this is all going to fit together. So really what we want to do is we want to have our twin side to the short side. So you'll see here that if I want to run this motion setup over here, now what this has become is it's become tight slots halfback weak. Why? Because I've got the tight and I've got the slot receiver. And then if I motion this guy out of the backfield, he pretty much goes into a slot position where he gets slot hot routes. So now this is literally, if you think about it, the play flood out of tight slots halfback weak. It's very similar to that concept. And it's just, we have a fullback that's running the route, okay? And you can put a tight end at fullback. There's a, you know ways you can get better players uh, wherever you want them. So to start out here, we're gonna utilize this and we're gonna put our eye close set 
um, to the short side of the field. So a couple things right off the bat that we can do. One of them is we can utilize an angle route from the fullback kind of like a slant route. So we're gonna angle route the fullback, we're gonna out the tight end, and then we're just gonna snap this. And what you're gonna see here is this angle route will literally kind of almost run as if he was a slant route. So you essentially have now created the post slant concept. And the other thing that we have here is we have that post route, that's a stock route that came with this play that is gonna do a really good job at consistently beating man to man. Another cool feature of this formation is we can motion players out. So if I wanted to do something like this, then I could run, you know, maybe a, maybe a setup like this where we're gonna motion this guy out on this post and then we have, you know, kind of this like drag and then we have this post and watch how deep this post is going to run. It's going to run all the way across the field. This might truly honestly be one of the best post routes in the game. And then the cool part that you also have is, again, you always want to check your motion. So like if I motion this fullback over here, then I'm basically in kind of a weak close. And this Texas pattern will be a little bit more like a traditional slant. And you see uh, this Texas pattern is super good um, for, getting, for getting separation. Another thing that you can do is, if you wanted to, is you could motion. Again, we're just kind of playing with some different motions and stuff. Um, you could try motion this tight end across. Now the tight end is on this post, right? And then you can run a concept like this. And this is kind of a traditional like Y cross style uh, passing play where the tight end post is going to be able to beat uh, man coverage coming across the field. The other setup we can do here is just simply streaking this um, right side receiver, putting a backside post there. This is now going to be a flood concept to the right side. So this is good for attacking zone. So for example, let's say they run like a cover four. You'll see here just by this setup alone. And again, it could be a, it could be a backside dig. It doesn't have to be a post. But you'll see here this corner route. If I ag it, it's going to be able to be caught. And now what do they have to do? Well, they have to mable the right side of the screen. So because they have to mable the right side of the screen, now I could go to a play like PA boot flow, where I have a flat route, and then I can kind of build around this. So um, you know, for example, let's say um, actually, you know, we can just do it like this. But basically the idea um, would be to take the tight end route. You can use this crosser that he's on, or you can put him on a tight end apprentice crosser, streak that slot receiver, and then we're gonna use a motion slant. Just like now what this concept is a little bit more reminiscent of is it's reminiscent of the bunch PA read play because you have play action blocking. And then that fullback is now going to serve the purpose of basically clearing out zone on the left-hand side. Why? Because he's a flat route that's going to kind of run essentially like a drag route. So you see here, this is kind of almost identical to the play PA read, and you're gonna add catch just like you would if you were running this out a bunch. So the last little piece of this is how do we find a bomb, right? Well, what we can do to uh, bomb coverages, we know a slant will bomb a coverage. So we're gonna post our tight end, we're gonna slant uh, Smith, and then we're going to motion Smith across and see, hopefully he goes in the slot position. He actually does go, they kind of create a stack alignment, and then we're gonna streak uh, the running back. So what this is gonna do against a cover three is the streak from the fullback is going to clear out that, and then the slant should be able to pull the outside third. So you see right here, you have now a potential one play touchdown against cover three. So you've created a one play touchdown, you've created a man beater, you've created, I mean, there's a lot of different things you can do um, you know, with this formation. Another cool one would be something like this. Uh, let me go back actually to the base play. So another cool little setup is to just slant Smith and we're gonna post our tight end and motion Smith across. And now what do we have? Well, we have a really good version of slant post and what you'll see is this post is one of the best po posts in the game for being able to get separation deep over the top. So these are just basic setups, um, but the beauty of it is they work um, and you could kind of build around that motion. So let's say for example, you wanted to do something like this. Well, now the post route becomes a corner route. You already have a flat route as a clear out. 
and then you have this little crosser. So this literally is good to go. And then now you just throw, um, you, you know, you, you've created kind of a bootleg or roll-up play. Play action from under center is really good. Um, this deep crosser, you want to kind of test this route because it's kind of unique. Let's see if it beats man-to-man. -man. It actually beats it pretty good, and it's a deep dig route. Um, so we can kind of build around that as well. So we could go PA deep cross. And then with this, um, you know, you obviously you always want to test out, like I said, your motions and stuff. Um, you know, but the thing that we could do with this is we could take our tight end route and just put him on a little baby in route over the middle to kind of pull that user down. And then we can throw that in behind it. So that's kind of a fun route that you could play with. Another cool thing you could do with this PA deep cross, put the tight end on a crosser. And because we learned that that deep cross is going to take a little time to get across the middle. And you see how good that is. Again, I got to add that so that it doesn't get KO'd. Um, but even like something like a motion out and then doing this, this is a, a really deep version of the Y cross concept. And so the tight end is going to be able to consistently be main coverage. So if we want to put it all together, we have several different options and things we can do. If we want to run the sale concept, then we're going to do it just like this. And we're going to run the sale concept to the right side. And it's not the best man beating concept because of the tight end, but it's still pretty good. And then um, let's say, for example, that our another thing you could do real quick on the sale concept that if you wanted to make it a little better against man, you can put um, your slot receiver on the corner route and he'll beat man a little better than the tight end will. OK, but the zone beating principle is still really good for you. And the beauty of this is this is us flooding. Whoops, let me go back to the play. This is us creating a flood a flood concept to the right side of the field. So they have to double flat on the right side of the field. So let's take it all the way out here. They're going to double flat to that right side of the field. So now we need something that is going to attack the left side of the field. So a setup like... For example, the uh, the drag PA boot flow, where we use a crosser. You can even use this corner route as a clear out route and it'll work. And you'll see here, your corner route will clear out that outside third, that crosser will come underneath it, and then that slant will be a nice little backside check down um, against whatever the defense wants to do. So that's our left side flood. So now they have to mabel both sides if they truly want to stop both sides. So now what do they have? Well. Now they're in uh, cover two. And so now we're able to create a bomb concept. So we're going to slant Smith. We're going to post the tight end. This will also be our man beating concept. And now we have a really good chance at seeing this post be able to beat cover two over the top. And then the last little piece of this, I think, is you've got to have something consistent for man. Um, and I think honestly, the best way to beat man, you can run it like this. Um, the problem with this variation of a setup is you still need to clear out for that right side post. So really, um, my recommendation would be to slant Smith, post the tight end and then call it like that. And what you'll see with this setup is now they can't press that slot. And now you have pretty much every route is going to cook man-to-man -man coverage over the top. Okay, so so you've got slant post, you've got sail, you've got cross, um, a potential. Let me go over a quick uh, concept for seams. So the reason you would call like a seams concept is really for the ability to attack the middle of the field. So um, if we want to attack the middle of the field, we would go to a seams concept. So a seams concept would be something like this. Um, let me see if I have it in here. Uh, PA boot flow, just kind of tech, checking some of the different routes. The other cool part about this specific post route is if you run this, this post route will beat man or uh, it will beat 30 yard clouds as well. Um, but really the idea here would be you know, something like this on the on the left there. And then on the right side, um, you can kind of do whatever you want. But even just something as simple as this is fine because this wheel will get in the seam area of the field. 
and it will consistently beat the double Mabel cover. So just something to get in the middle of the field. And really, you know, I mean, if you could get something like this, and I'm trying to think how I would leverage, you know, your right side guy. And really, this could probably be like a motion snap, just like this here, and maybe put a post over there like that. That's a little bit better. And now you're able to attack the seams on both sides, and then you also have that man-beating post coming back side. So there's a seams concept for that. And then the last thing that you need to be able to do, in my opinion, is you need to be able to space the field. So having a concept uh, like this, where we're gonna utilize uh, the slant, and then we're gonna also utilize the, the hitch. So, you know, for example, it might look something like this. And then you have back to that slant post idea and utilizing the motion snapping uh, really helpful because the, the fullback will be the flat. Now you have the slant, the post, and then you basically kind of, again, come back to a really meta way uh, that people are attacking. And so the beauty of this is, and then when you pair it with the fact that you have this incredible post route that you can build everything around, like even, the, even just this setup right here, probably one of the best setups in the game for being able to attack man-to-man -man deep down the field because this post route is so good. So there's so much that you can do from these under center formations that are just as good as like a tight slot. They may not be as like as good, but they're right there. I mean, even this set, this setup right here is one of my favorites because you can attack man coverage. You don't have to motion anybody. You have a lot of man beating options. Um, you know, this is this is how you kind of take a concept that you learn from a bunch or a tight and you can cross apply it to whatever formation that you want to run, even like an eye form close or an eye wing or whatever. You just have to understand the route concepts that you're utilizing and you have to understand the spacing that your formation allows you to have. For example, another thing you can do with this is you could even run a setup that looks like this. Let me see if I can kind of set it up properly here. But basically the idea would be you can leverage the power of a delayed snap. So you see how that delayed slant will kind of delay and now it creates that spacing over the middle of the field. That is how you do it. And you just test that stuff out of whatever formation you run and you'll create a really good offense just by doing that stuff alone. I mean, and, and with hot, obviously things, obviously Hot Route Master helps, but really, you could pretty much run this entire scheme um, without Hot Rod Master. You would just have to use this crosser instead of a tight end apprentice post, uh, which is fine. And, and then you would just have to live with the fact that it might not get super deep. But you see how good, <coughs> excuse me, the slant route is. Guys, thanks for watching. These are the things we teach you in detail in our ebooks. If you want to join the Patreon, it will get you access to all of my offensive and defensive ebooks. Thanks for watching the video. You can sign up for the Patreon by clicking the link down below.